Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus 12 and today I will show you how you can enable and also set up your Do Not Disturb mode. So, to get started, pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen and do that once more to extend the list of visible toggles. On one of the pages we should have our Do Not Disturb toggle, so if it's not on the first page you can swipe to the left and it looks like that's where it is located for me. Once you see it, if you're doing this the first time around, hold the toggle, this will quickly take you to the settings and here you can obviously customize how it will function once you toggle it on. Now the most important settings in here will be things like the schedule, you can select a fully automatic schedule which will turn on and off the mode, at the provided day of the week and the time. Then a little bit below we have exceptions for, well contacts allows you to select for who are these exceptions, so we have none favorite contacts or all contacts, so obviously that's completely up to you. Uh, you can also select exceptions for applications, which one will not be affected by the mode. And then uh, ring for repeated callers, so this defines what will happen if someone calls you twice within a 3 minute period. Once enabled, it will bypass whatever you have selected right over here. Now this option might be fairly useful for emergency purposes, as the time buffer right here just three minutes for two calls so it's pretty slim that spam callers uh, will call you will spam you that much um, but obviously uh, in certain cases you might still have some calls go through i still consider this option to be relatively good for emergency purposes so i would keep it on and then you have also just options for silent media when do not disturb mode is enabled now at the very top you have the toggle to turn it on, but you can ignore this, once it's all set you can just close this and whenever you want to turn it on later on, you can do so by finding the toggle right here and simply tapping on it, selecting turn on and you're good to go. Once you're done with it you will need to remember to turn it off by finding the toggle once again and tapping on it once more. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.